Daddy God, I plead your blood on this lesson in the name of Jesus. And the eyes and ears that listen to it, in the name of Jesus, amen. All right, y'all. Um, I went over this a bit. Excuse the lights in here. Just, just try to ignore that. I want you to write this down. Those of you Google Meets have already done it. The rest of you, write on the on the top page of your notebook, on the first page, speaking God's word. There's many reasons why you need to pray out loud, speak the word out loud. Okay, especially when you're in spiritual warfare or no matter what you're going through. I want you to write down Mark 11. If you can't see it, I'll fix it in a minute. Mark 11, verse 23. Luke 17, 6. Mark 4, 39. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 11.3. I'll tell you what to do in just a minute. John 12. Uh, verse 49-50. Okay. You're going to dissect these scriptures. Okay. Romans 10.8-10. Romans 10, 8 through 10. Okay, uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see, I'll give you a couple more. Do Proverbs. Proverbs. Let's do Proverbs uh, 16. Verse 21 and verses 23 through 24 and verse 27. One more Proverbs, another Proverbs. This is what you'll do. Uh, 18, chapter 18, verse 4 and verse 7 and verse 20 through 21. Okay, you will open, the, you'll sit down with your notebook. You'll study those scriptures, scripture by scripture, and you're going to write down your notebook exactly what the Holy Spirit is telling you it means, line for line. What does that verse mean to you? Everything you can possibly, you know, that's coming at you that it means, write it down. Say so you could put Mark 11.23 on your notebook. Mark 11.23. The Holy Spirit is telling me this means la 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 Okay, Luke. Write down Luke 17, 6. The Holy Spirit is telling me this means la, 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 Okay? And then you can go through those at the end of your notebook, at the end of your study, and say, what kind of things am I doing that line up with this scripture? Write it down. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Yes, that's good. What kind of things am I not doing that I need to do to line my life up with that scripture? Write it down. I need to change this. I need to do that. And you have it right there in your face. You have no excuses. And it helps you learn, helps you grow. Okay, let's talk about it. Mark eleven twenty three 23 says, I tell you the truth. You can say to this mountain, go fall into the sea. And if you have no doubts in your mind and believe that what you say will happen, God will do it for you. He's telling you just a little bit of trust in him, man. You see, he, he's, got a, he's begging for a little bit of trust. Because most people, majority, have got no trust, no faith. He's like, just give me some, some, so I can move for you, so I can work in your life. Okay, Luke 17, 6, the Lord said, if your faith were the size of a mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, dig yourself up and plant yourself in the sea, and it would obey you. He needs faith, y'all. He's starving for your faith, your trust, your trust, okay? And you can go on and, and, and go through those scriptures like that. Um, you can rewind the video. Because I'm going to erase that. So you can re rewind it and pause it to write the rest of them down. All right, I got to uh, take it off here. So, um, and we got to, we have to be living a Christian life to the fullest, okay? So, uh, I want to thank those of you 
that are supporting this ministry by subscribing to it and hitting the thumbs up. And I, I hope that you do, or thumbs down. It doesn't matter which thumb you hit because either one you hit helps the channel to grow. As long as there's act, you know, activity, it doesn't matter if it's up, down, whatever, it helps it all to go up. Okay, so hit something, okay? It's between you and God, which one you hit, right? Doesn't matter to me because it all helps it go up, okay? But if you're not subscribing or hitting the thumb up or either one, um, please do because everybody needs to learn this. Jesus Christ is teaching here and, everybody, and the more interaction that happens with my channel, the more subscribers, the more thumbs, either way the thumbs go, it puts my videos out there in the news feed, it puts it out that the more the more activity you get, the quicker it puts it out in the news feed to other people. So it'll be one of the first videos they see. So get it, help me get it out there. Okay, and those of you that are financially supporting the ministry um, by obeying God's uh, command in Malachi for his 10%, you're doing it here. Thank you for that because you also are helping to get the word out to the masses. Okay, I'm getting ready to get a website the next step. I told you God gave me a dream where I was running up the ladder, going up. There was my mom. I run up to her and I chased her up the second set of stairs into the back of the bus. And God told me clearly, it's time for your ministry to go to the next level to reach more people. And not just more people, but even for the people I have, more studies. Um, on the website, I can give you world information that you need to be aware of that we cannot talk about here. Okay? You can go on there and hear things in the videos that we can't say here, okay? You can go on there and follow act more laid out study videos to you so you can study where you are in your walk with the Lord. So it's more intense. It can reach more people, and they can't shut me off for saying anything, okay? So thank you all for your support because you are helping God's kingdom. That's the reason he tells you to do it is to help the people that's feeding you. So thank some of you for that, okay? Now let's talk about this, meeting the challenge, because this is what happens, this is what's going on. I'm going to erase, the, I'll leave that on for a minute, okay. So we, we're a country who loves challenges, right? We love the challenge of sports, we love uh, underdogs, we love the challenge of trying to win, we love to hear about and watch people overcoming great adversities, right? We watch Survivor, the biggest loser, and, and uh, to watch the people who are being challenged, right? Uh, people watch American Idol and The Voice to see people taking on challenges, all right? There, there are challenges we have as a church also, okay? And today, today's Bible passage, we learn of a challenge that the church faces today. This is much, much more at stake in our challenge than staying on an island somewhere, okay? But this is a challenge that we were created to be part of. We find this challenge in Romans chapter 10. Turn your Bibles to Romans chapter 10, verse 13. 13 through 17. It says, For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? How are they going to call on somebody they ain't never heard of? Okay, and how shall they believe in him whom they've not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring tidings of, of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So winning souls, we are soul winners. I am ordained by nobody else than Jesus Christ himself to teach and preach you God's word. So you can get a closer relationship, a better walk with Jesus Christ the way he wants you to have it. Okay. You are to learn. If you're here, you are to learn God's word, not hear it, not only hear it, but do it. He's teaching you to live according to it so you can be the soul winner you are born to be. Okay, we are all called to be one, a soul winner, to reach the people. 
So it says, uh, faith comes by hearing. Faith comes by hearing the word of God. So Paul asks, how shall they hear without a preacher? How are you going to hear without a preacher? This does not mean that we must enter a uh, public ministry to preach the gospel. You're not going to preach the gospel unless the Lord Jesus Christ calls you to. There's too many people out there already that are not called by God that go and get a 10-year doctrine degree and are not Holy Ghost Spirit filled. They're not there called by God to teach. Okay, and then there's some of us that are called by God that I don't have to go get a degree in theology or spend even a, a, a week in Bible Scott College. God is my, my ordainer. God, Jesus Christ himself ordained. And there's many others that he ordains like that. So he needs us, okay? He needs us for you. For you. Okay? So clearly every believer will find opportunities from time to time at home. Okay? At the marketplace or school or somewhere to show others the good news about Jesus. We are all called to be a disciple. We are all called to be a witness. Okay, but as far as the gifts, some of us are called to teach and preach his word like I am. Some of us are not. Some of you are called to, with the gift of healing. I obviously am not. You know, but some of you are. We all have different gifts, okay? But they come from Jesus and nobody else. There's no uh, diploma going to give you a gift if Jesus hasn't ordained you with it. So we are needed. I am needed out there. That's why Jesus put me here. I am needed out there to help the people, to reach the people, to get people into the right track on that narrow road to get into heaven for eternity. Okay? So it's our duty to help in that area. Okay? So in that bit of scripture, we find the challenge we have as the church of Jesus Christ. Let's break it down a little bit. Let's break it down. So what is the what is the basis for the challenge? All right, we have the message. We have the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have the good news of salvation that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you're going to be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified. Do you realize where, where the Bible says with the heart? Let me erase this. A lot of people believe with their mind, y'all. Most people believe with their mind, not with their heart. Because when you believe, that's what Jesus let me live for is that word believe. When you believe with your mind, you acknowledge it, you know it, you agree with it. But you believe with your heart. That means you're more than just a hearer and acknowledger. You are a doer of his word means you obey God's word. All of it. Okay? That's exactly what Jesus Christ is talking about. Okay? For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So no other religion, y'all, can offer salvation. No other road, no other door leads to salvation. Okay? We have this message that Jesus Christ saves all who comes to him. We have that message. All right? The world holds the masses. There's no limit to who can be saved. The Bible says, who, whoever calls on the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ is an equal opportunity saver. Salvation is not limited by race or creed or gender. There are 7 billion people in this world today. 7 billion people. And probably more than 6 billion need the Lord Jesus Christ. They're all available right now to respond to the Lord. They need to respond to the Lord. So we have the message for the masses. We are Jesus doers. Has the message for the masses. Okay? We have the message. So, we have the one and only true message to a relationship with God. Every person alive in this world today has the opportunity to call on Jesus Christ and be saved. For the world to be saved is simple, y'all. It's simple. What's the answer? Jesus Christ. So the challenge is getting our message to the world masses, okay? 
In Romans 8, Paul asked some questions about the challenge facing God's people today. Paul asked these questions in the context of his people Israel. Okay, these Jews of Paul's time needed to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. So his questions still hold true today. Our context is a town that needs to hear the good news of forgiveness of eternal life. A world that needs to hear it. Our context is a country that needs to hear the good news and forgiveness and eternal life. The world needs to hear the good news of forgiveness and eternal life. So these questions hold the challenge for us as God's church today. You are part of God's church. How do we get the message to the masses? Let's look at these questions. Look at these. I'm going to ask them to you. How can the world call on someone they don't believe in? How are they going to call on someone they don't believe in? The only way to salvation is Jesus Christ. For the people to be saved, they have to trust in Jesus. So one of the things is to believe. All this is believe. Number one, you need to trust. They need to hear it. In order, because the Bible says don't just hear it. You need to hear it, but then you need to do it. The word of God. Okay, hearing should lead to doing. If you're hearing and you ain't doing, then you need to do a, a self uh, reflection, self check. All right, the Romanians in the mountains of Europe have to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. The, the uh, people in the jungles of Central America have to believe in Jesus to be saved. The Japanese, the neighbors across the street, you know, the people you brush by in Walmart all need to believe in Jesus Christ to be saved. There is no shortcut, no different route. Okay, and there is salvation in nobody else. But there's no other name under the heaven given among men by which we must be saved, Acts 4.12. So how can the world believe in someone they've never heard about? How are they going to believe in somebody they've never heard about? Okay, so the world needs Jesus Christ to be saved. Amen? But of the 7 billion people in this world, how many people know that? How many actually know it? With so many different religions and non-religions, uh, the world is in a state of confusion about God and salvation. The only way they can know the gospel is to hear it. They need to hear it by somebody ordained by Jesus Christ, such as myself. You need to hear it. The world needs to hear it. We need to get it out to the people. If the world needs Jesus Christ alone for salvation, then the world needs to hear that Jesus is the only way to salvation. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. How can the world hear unless someone tells them? So we've determined the world can only be saved by faith in Jesus Christ, right? We determine if they can only be saved through Christ, they need to hear about Christ. Right? We've determined that faith comes by hearing the word of God first. So Paul asks the, the next logical question. How can they hear unless somebody tells them? This is a crucial uh, link in the chain, y'all. We have people who are lost and have no idea how to be saved. These people need to hear the gospel because faith, saving faith, comes by hearing the word of God. We as children of God have been entrusted with the word of God. You have been entrusted. Jesus has trusted you with this duty. He's trusting me with it. So we have the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which can lead somebody to faith in Jesus Christ. It can lead somebody to eternal life in heaven, away from hell. It's our duty, okay? It is my duty to teach it to you, to guide you into that direction of God's word so you can live it. All right, the heart of the matter then for those with the message to tell those who are without it. That's our duty. So how can someone tell them unless they're sent to the ones who need to hear it, right? Those who have the message have been sent to those without it. I'm here. I'm one of them. I'm here. 
And every single day, I give you the message. I give you studies to study so you can grow. That's what Jesus has me here to do, to teach it to you. Right? We have to go and tell people that they need what they don't have. Have to go and tell people who may not even know that they need it. People need Jesus and Christians have to be sent out to tell them. So the challenge is to get our message out to the masses. So how do we meet the challenge? We have to pray for those who don't know about Jesus. So according to the Bible, Jesus is the only way to be saved. According to the Bible, those without Jesus Christ are condemned, y'all, for all eternity. These people are in the hands of God, okay? The Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some uh, count slowness, okay? But he's patient toward you, not wishing any should perish, but all should have repentance. That's in 2 Peter 3, 9. So we have, we have to send people to tell them, I have to train you and teach you in God's holy word how to be a doer. Of his word. That's my duty from Jesus Christ. Okay, and it comes from hearing the word. Then we've got to send people out for them to hear. Okay, every single believer, y'all, is called to be a disciple. A missionary of a certain kind. You may not be called to teach and preach the gospel like I am, but you are called. To be a disciple and a witness for Jesus Christ. To tell somebody else, hey, Jesus loves you. You need Jesus to get to heaven. Because one day you're going to die. Okay, that's a fact. Where are you going to go? That's all of our duty. Okay, and it's my duty not just to tell you that, but to tell you that. It's also my duty to teach you from Jesus how to grow that super close relationship with him so that you can be the disciple you are meant to be. That's my duty. Okay, so as you start studying God's word, you guys, as you start seeking the word, as you start spending your time and di dissecting those scriptures that I've been giving you, on Google Meets, those of you that come for that extra study, that more in-depth study, you guys are studying. Okay, the rest of my channel, my channel here, I don't know what you're doing, okay? I can only keep up with you in the comment section, but I give you scriptures to study. Do it the way Jesus Christ told me face-to-face, y'all, when I was with him. How to teach you how to study his word. Read the scripture dissect it. Stop right there. Dissect it. What is the Holy Spirit tell you that means? All of it. Write it down in your notebook. Then write down, what am I doing that, that applies to that scripture? What am I not doing that applies to this scripture that I need to do? Jesus said it puts it in your face for you to see. You can make some changes right there. And then you have a whole notebook. You got your Bible here and you got your notebook here. You got the word here and you got a book of understanding the word here. Helps you understand it. Helps you to be able to live it. According, live by it. Be a doer. Which is what we have to do. Because as I explained to many of you, if you're new to my channel, I'll explain it to you again. There's a wide gate to hell over here. And there's a very narrow road that leads to heaven here. Very narrow because that road is difficult. The Bible says it's difficult. So very few people are on it. You know why? Because they don't do this. They don't obey God. They're not a doer. Their heart is not completely in it. Very few. But my group that I teach that is earnestly seeking the Lord and, and listening and doing, you're on that road. I'm on that road. I'm right here. I got my spot reserved. Okay, but there's many people who think they're on this road. And they're over here, y'all. The word of God says so. This is eternal separation from God. All right, so if you're here at We Are Jesus Doers and you're doing the studies, you're following, you're actually spending your alone time with God, you're here at my channel. It ain't going to do with me. It's Jesus teaching you how to get close to him. You need somebody to teach you that, okay? And this is what he put me here for, 
Okay, you're here, you're following the studies, you're doing them, you're coming to Google Meets, you're putting every forth effort you have to grow, and you are stud then, then you take time alone in God's word and you study with you and God. You are gonna grow so fast because that's what Jesus told me. He's looking for them to do that so they can grow really fast and get on this road that your spot reserved. Okay, but you gotta let the things of this flesh, this flesh stuff go. You've got to let silly, stupid stuff go, okay? You've got to grow. We're running out of time, y'all. Running out of time for foolishness. Running out of time for foolishness. So get your heart right, okay? If you're here at We Are Jesus Doers, you're in the right place. You're in the right place. I'm going to tell you, there's a lot of what the Bible calls wolves in sheep's clothing. There's wolves in sheep's clothing, all over this platform. And they are sent by the Illuminati. By the elites. Different people to pose. To pose as a Holy Ghost. Spirit filled uh, person. And they're not. Okay. So if you're somewhere. Where the only thing you're hearing. If you're on a channel. I'm trying to tell my group this. If you're on a channel. Where the only thing you're hearing. Really. You, you can listen to a video. You have. Uh, an hour worth of nothing but demons and fallen angels and uh, uh, insects and aliens and um, asteroids and uh, plagues, 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 plagues. Well, honey, I'm trying to tell you, get away from it in the name of Jesus. Come back to my channel. Get back on my channel. Watch these videos and do them. Work along with me in them. Because a lot of those people there, what you hear all that stuff, you hear no... Glory to Jesus. Jesus says, if it doesn't give me glory, I have no part of it. Okay, Jesus didn't spend his time here on earth freaking people out. He told, he told you straight up, he said, things are going to come. They're going to happen. Okay, this can happen, that's going to happen, this can happen, that's going to happen. He's like, when you see these things, fear not. Fear not. And then he stopped. Every time he rebuked a demon out, he didn't sit there and talk about it for an hour. He rebuked it and was gone done. He's not giving glory to demons. He's not giving glory. And these people may think they're not. But when they don't spend their time, that they have a chance to make a video to reach the world. And they're not spending their time doing this. And I'm sorry. They're not giving God glory. Somebody that's teaching you, giving you Bible scriptures... Talking you through the scriptures. Giving you an understanding. Okay? Helping you to grow. That's where you need to be. Even if you need to do it just for one month. If you need to just watch my videos for a month. Okay? If you're one of those who gets in fear a lot. Because you're here. I see, I see it all the time, y'all. And I see some of you correcting it. And I see you actually growing. But you're here at my video. You're growing. And you know you are. And then class is over, you go to this video, this video, this video, and you're like hearing asteroids, you're hearing demons, uh, whatever. And then by the time you get back here, you have fear. By the time you come back to me, you bring all that fear with you. Unbelief. That's what you come back around to me with. When you leave here, you, ha you leave with faith. You come back with fear and unbelief. You know why? Because of this one. Let them go for a little while. Stay where Jesus Christ is. These people might have a theological uh, doctrine degree. Who knows? Whatever. doesn't matter. doesn't matter. Stay where you're growing, where you're learning. Okay? And then when you, when you grow, learn. Jesus is moving you up quickly. Very quickly here, y'all. The serious ones. So that now, in a month or two, when you go back out there, you will hear, you'll be like, oh, wait a minute. I used to listen to this one for five years, but now I hear what they're saying differently. That's not what the Bible says. Wait a minute. The Bible, that, wait a minute. That's not in God. You will notice it when you grow in the Lord Jesus Christ and in his word. And you need to be taught, guided along the way, which is what I'm put here with breath in my body for. Okay, so... If you're here, I advise you to actually study the things I'm giving you to study. Because you will find out very soon that we're quickly running out of time.
running out of time. And uh, thank, I want to thank those of you who are helping me get the word out to the mass amount of people because I have to move this ministry from the platform here to the, I'm staying here, but I have to move it up to the next level where, you know, I have a, like right now I can reach a certain amount of people that's really trying to study. Now I got to move it up to reach a bigger amount, amount of people where you can do more studies individually. Okay, so it's the website. I'm trying to move up to that. The Lord already told me to. So it's going to take the body. That's, what, that's the purpose of the body, supporting a ministry. That's why Jesus said do it, because it helps the ministry, God's ministry, grow to more souls, more souls, more souls. That's what it's for. Okay, but there's some people who have a problem with God's command on that. And there's some that don't. But Jesus said to me, he told me, some will listen, some will not. Okay, I see it and I can't, I can't, only thing I can do is try to help you, direct you to obey God and to love the Lord and want to grow. I cannot make you do it. Hell is going to be full of people, y'all, full of people. You know what? The day after the rapture happens, the church is going to be filled up. The day after the rapture, the church then is going to be filled up, every pew filled up. The day after the rapture, my videos are probably going to hit 50 million views the day after the rapture. But you know what? I'm advising you, the Lord is advising you to grow close to him right now. Right now. Why do you want to wait and put yourself through all that torment? Get close to Jesus Christ right now. Here at We Are Jesus Doers, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, is your teacher. Okay, I'm a vessel. And he is... He is quickly raising you up and he's teaching, he's taking you through the Bible like the wind blowing, y'all. And that's where you need to be. Those of you that really want to grow in the Lord, okay, then go through the videos, go through the studies, actually work out the, the scripture like I'm telling you to. Jesus told me to tell you to do that. Jesus has me doing it. And the ones that are doing it, including myself, will tell you it works. It's the only thing so far that has worked for me and for the other ones that are doing it. You will know God's word. I'm telling you right now, that's the reason why Jesus said do it. All right. So we have a duty, y'all. I have a duty to Jesus Christ. He saved my soul, my life to do this. So I have a big duty, but you have one too. You may not have met him like I did, but you still have an obligation to him. You don't remember meeting him, but you did before you was in your mama's womb. Okay, but you will remember it. So your obligation is to grow in him, live it, and tell the world, tell somebody, try to save a soul. That's your duty, and you will be judged on it, whether you do or don't. And so will I. So I know he's telling me to take this ministry to the next level, so I have an obligation to get her done. Okay, and that comes through the body. So thank you all so much for uh, your support of this particular ministry. Thank you all for your support of pushing the subscribe button. Thank you to the new subscribers because you help put the video in the news feed when other people log on. It moves the video up to the front. So thank you guys so much for that. Okay, I never thought thanked you all for that before because I didn't know it did all that. You know, I didn't want to make it a big deal to hit the subscribe button and the like button. I didn't want to make it a big deal. But now that I know that it moves the video up when other people log on, more of an opportunity for them to click on and hear the word of God. So it does matter. It matters. All right. So in the name of Jesus, God bless you all. We'll see y'all Google Meets tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll explain to you again, from 8 to 8.30 is chat time. 8 to 8.30 is chat time. 8.30 sharp, the class starts. Okay, then we're going to shut the room down after class because I have a house full of company tonight out of town. So we're going to keep the lesson short and sweet. But it's very important, very important that you study. Super important. So be there. All right? In the name of Jesus, God bless you. If you don't know Jesus, ask him to save your soul, y'all. Ask him to save you. Now grow. Get hungry. Get really hungry, y'all, every day for him. All right? In the name of Jesus, anything else you need to know is in the description. All right? God bless each one of you. See you tonight.